Well, hello, Shoreline Church. Happy New Year. Uh, this is your devotional for January 6th, 2021. You got that right, 2021. It felt like 2020 was never gonna end. Uh, we don't have guarantees that 2021 is gonna be smooth sailing, but, but let's be praying for a fresh new beginning, a fresh start, and we're gonna start together with a fresh book of the Bible. We're starting with the book of Proverbs. When we jumped into these devotionals, uh, we initially we were doing three a week, we were walking through the book of Psalms. And I thought, what better way to start a year than thinking about wisdom, you know, where do you need wisdom in your personal life? Where do you need wisdom in relationships? If you're, a, if you're, if you're married, if you're a parent, if you're a grandparent, uh, where do you need wisdom there? If you're working, where do you need wisdom in the workplace? How you relate with your neighbors? Where do you need wisdom? Well, the, the Word of God, the Bible, says one of the best places to go for wisdom is the book of Proverbs because it is a book of wisdom. It's poetic. The genre is, is wisdom, literature, poetry. But, but kind of held within these little couplings of lines that go back and forth. And we'll kind of talk about some of the different aspects of how Proverbs works and how it's formed. But, but you know, in each of those little couplings of lines is wisdom and how to think and, and how to, to live our lives and attitudes, motives, all kinds of things. So I'm going to begin in chapter one and I'm going to begin with verse one. I'm going to read the first seven verses and just share a couple of thoughts that hopefully will kick off your year with a, with a fresh commitment to grow in wisdom. So here we go. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. For gaining wisdom and instruction, for understanding words of insight, for receiving instruction in prudent behavior, doing what is right and just and fair. Boy, does our world need people that live a life that is right and just and fair. For giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise learn and add to their wisdom and let the discerning get guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. I mean, there is a lot there. Uh, first, I want to just say this. Proverbs is clear. We all need to grow in wisdom. If you think you don't need more wisdom, then you're not wise enough to understand the truth of the matter. We all need to grow in wisdom. So would you say right where you are, God, I want to grow in wisdom this year. Would you just kind of whisper a prayer saying, Lord, help me grow in wisdom in 2021. And really ask God to speak to you, to guide you, to give you a fresh perspective on life that, that, that is saturated in his wisdom and his leading. And then right in this, in this passage, in verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. People kind of freak out with this idea of fear of the Lord. They think, well, it means I'm terrified of God. I run away from God. I'm, I'm afraid of God like I'm afraid of spiders or snakes or, or robbers or whatever, whatever it is that freaks you out. My wife's not a big fan of, of mountain lions. She's concerned there's mountain lions running around Monterey County. Not a lot of mountain lions, but, but there, are, there are a few, and she's heard about them. What is it that kind of pushes your buttons? It's not that. It is awe. It is reverence, and there is this sense of, of, I want to follow God and walk in obedience because our God is a just God and a righteous God. And so we want to follow him and be obedient to him, but it's, it's not a, a mindless terror. It's a profound awareness of who God is, who we are, and we walk in the fear of the Lord. We'll learn a lot about that in the coming weeks as we walk through the book of Proverbs together. And then finally, it ends, this passage we read ends with these words, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let's commit this year to grow in wisdom, and let's also commit to not be fools. Let's not, let's not despise instruction. Let's not despise insight and wisdom from others. Look for sources of wisdom. From God's Word, absolutely. From people who speak wisdom. From circumstances that can kind of sharpen your way of seeing the world. Will you pray with me that this year we will grow in wisdom, the fear of the Lord, and will run away from walking the path of foolishness. Lord, that's our prayer, that we would hunger for and long to grow in wisdom, and that you will speak to us by your word through peak people and circumstances. Grow our wisdom. Protect us from the, the folly of feeling like we have everything figured out, and shape us into the people you want us to be in 2021. We pray we will become more and more like Jesus, walking in his wisdom and his ways. We pray this for his glory. Amen. Well, this Sunday we're meeting for two services on campus, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. If the weather's good, we're here. 
in the parking lot also. Register for parking lot spots, for spots in the courtyard, and if you're online, just set an alarm, a buzzer, a beeper for nine o'clock and 11, and we will see you this Sunday to worship together as a congregation at Shoreline Church. Happy New Year, God bless you.